Correspondent Evan Lambert is live in Pennsylvania where this all happened. Uh, Evan, what is the latest on the investigation? Nicole, this news of the investigation was posted quietly on the website of the Department of Homeland Security Office of Inspector General. It is under a list of active projects, and it says that the goal of that review is to evaluate the Secret Service process for securing former President Trump's rally on July 13th. We also know uh, that there are major questions, obviously, about how a 20-year-old from outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, was able to get up on top of a roof, a building from an elevated position, and fire his weapon toward the former president. So that is likely to be the focus of that inspector general investigation. There are also questions that are coming from members of Congress, and they expect to get some answers today. The Senate, all senators, will be getting briefed today by the FBI and the Secret Service, according to reporting from my colleague Kelly Meyer. That is supposed to happen at 3 p.m. Eastern time, and we found out that the people that will be ask, answering questions on that call from senators or, or talking with senators there uh, will be the director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, and his deputy, also the director of the Secret Service, Kimberly Cheadle, and her deputy. So they will be on the call briefing senators. It's actually unclear if they will be able to ask questions, uh, but we know that they will be getting some kind of briefing today. So we'll be trying to report all of that out and share any of the latest. Nicole? All right, Nevin, we have reported that Trump's security was already increased before the rally because of a threat from Iran. So what more do you know? Yes, so that all happened prior to Saturday's rally shooting. We know that the Secret Service surged resources to Trump's protective detail ahead of time. And that is because, according to a national security official in recent weeks, the U.S. became aware of intelligence of a possible plot to assassinate the former president by Iran. That is in revenge for the killing of the Iranian general Qasem Soleimani in 2020. That was ordered by former President Trump. And since then, uh, the national security community has been talking about this ongoing threat to Trump administration officials that were involved in that call. Iran has wanted revenge, and that threat, according to a former federal law enforcement official, uh, has only been growing in the last few months. But we do know that that information, uh, especially about the threat to the former president, that was communicated uh, to the Secret Service at a high level, and that information was shared with Trump's protection, the lead detail officer, and resources were surged. But that still, again, raises even bigger questions. With those added resources, uh, this shooter was still able to carry out his attempt. So, of course, all yeah. of that uh, being demanded uh, from Congress, uh, demanding answers there to all of that. Nicole? Absolutely. And we are still waiting to hear from the State Department today as well. Evan Lambert in Pennsylvania, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.